ASMR. Hey everybody, um, today I have something a little special. I have watched Ignited ASMR for quite a few years. And years ago, he made a video where he was eating guava and cheese pastries. And they were the Edmunds brand. And they were big and buttery and flaky. And um, it was a very short video. It was actually two videos that were uh, split in half. Um, I can't remember if he didn't have enough space on his phone or what, but they were really short, but I really liked them. And I really wanted to try them, but I could not find the uh, Edmunds brand ones anywhere. They're probably just, if they even make them anymore, they were probably just in that area. But I was walking around Walmart the other day and I found these ones. Now I followed the directions like to the letter and whether it's my sad baking skills or my oven, they do not look as nice as they do on <laughs> on here. Um, I don't know, maybe I should have brushed them with butter or something, but it doesn't say to do that, but I don't know, and they definitely don't look as good as the Edmunds ones did, but they're pretty much cold now because I've tried to film this video like eight times, as you can see. They're really good. It basically tastes like puff pastry and um, probably anything you've ever had that's guava flavored. I actually had to stop the video last time because a branch from the neighbor's tree fell into our yard again and it sounded like someone like a desk or an entertainment center and one of our bedrooms had fallen and broken and that's the second time that that's happened so i'm a little afraid that their tree is dying So, we're gonna have to awkwardly uh, bring it up to the neighbors, I guess. Don't know them at all. Only in passing, saying hi and stuff like that. So it's like if we don't if we don't say anything and then something else happens and like it damages the roof or something like if the whole tree comes down then it not only will do like a lot of damage but then it's like hey why didn't you tell us this was happening So it's like, not our fault if it happens because it's their tree, but if we didn't tell them that a branch or two had fallen in our yard previously, and they 
didn't even notice. But we knew about it. That just makes us look dumb, so. listen to the last recording and see if I can find the spot where I heard the tree branch fall. And if you can hear it really good, I'll add it in as like a blooper or something. supposed to, so I didn't want them to burn. <laughs> 